Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Coffee with Carl. My name is Carl Zellner. I'm one of the attorneys at Anderson Business Advisors. And of course, Coffee with Carl is brought to you by Anderson Business Advisors. Uh, a lot of our clients and a lot of folks that are go online um, always one, or tend to wonder, we get a lot of questions on why do we have a corporation within our business entity structure? And the simple explanation of it is, is your corporation runs on a different tax code than you do individually. And when we create a corporation, we create a separate taxpayer, which gives us some separation and some more flexibility in what we can do when we talk about how to shift, say, expenses or deductions or even the availability to up our reimbursements from our corporation to ourselves. So the reason we talk about the different types of code is because there is a substantial difference between the corporate tax code versus the individual tax code. With a corporation, we get to earn, then we get to spend, and then we get taxed. From the individual side, it's almost the opposite. We get to earn, we get taxed, and then we get to spend le what's left over. So when we insert a corporation into our business mix, whether it be real estate or another type of active business, we start to see some more flexibility in the certain types of items we can, or how we classify certain items that we're already paying for. So with the corporate tax code, it's a deduction to the corporation for say cable, internet. Um, you can even in add things to your corporation's bylaws that include being able to reimburse medical expenses, uh, as well as reimburse other ordinary expenses of the business as well. Now, specifically, I'm thinking of some, like I said, the cables, the internets, um, how about, and when we talk about medical, we can say anything that basically a doctor prescribes or writes a doctor's note for. So meaning even if say you're larger and a larger type person like myself, and maybe you have your doctor wants to say you should be on Nutrisystem, you could even reimburse that. But the thing to note is, is that a lot of entities, specifically corporations, are not specifically drafted that way. You have to add those provisions in. They have to be accepted by the board of directors in your corporation, which for a lot of you, especially if you have a small corporation, will be you. But those advantages are available to the corporation where they're not available to you as individuals. Or there's some high qualifying standards to have them as available to you as individuals. So say like those medical care reimbursements. Sure, you can take some of that on your individual return, but it has to reach above that 10% threshold. And that can be a real burden to a lot of folks out there. With a corporation, it can start at dollar one and you can spread and it can go on indefinitely. So I like the use of corporations because I look at them as almost tax vehicles in that I can get some real bang for my buck when using a corporation in my entity structure. Individual tax code is pretty tight on what you can take and what you can't. And the problem is also that, mo or not the problem, but the reality is at this point with the standard deduction being so high, most of us are not itemizing our returns anymore. So why not insert something into your business structure that allows you to take those same types of expenses and even more and insert a corporation? And that's why I tend to use corporations in my business entity structures. Uh, the other thing that you can do, and I'll just touch on this and maybe I'll make a video on this specifically because it's really cool. And it's something that I tend to see uh, a lot of CPAs and attorneys miss for their clients is what we call 280A because it falls under the Internal Revenue Code under Section 280A. I can even rent my personal residence to my corporation for up to 14 days a year. And that's a deduction to my corporation for the rental expense and it's tax-free income into my pocket for up to 14 days. So like I said, I think I'll make another video on the 280A specifically, but just to break it down in a final summary, we use corporations because the corporation tax code allows us to earn, spend, and pay taxes on what's left over versus the individual tax code where we have to earn, then we get taxed, and then we get to spend what's left over. So hope this sheds some light on why we tend to use corporations. Uh, once again, we put out a ton of free content. Anybody who wants a free consult, we're always happy to help you. Uh, just catch us at andersonadvisors.com, our YouTube channel. We've got a ton of YouTube content, uh, as well as don't forget to show up to Toby's Tax Tuesday since today was tax-based.
Thanks for joining me for another Coffee with Carl, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.